Hi folks. So for quite a while now I've been working on a project trying to uh, collect an example of basically every single uh, cylinder type that sees any real use in North America and hopefully eventually uh, all of the major cylinder formats in the world. Uh, obviously that will take a little bit longer than uh, just the one continent. So, you know, it, uh, break big goals down into small ones, right? Uh, anyway, uh, what I did manage to do uh, just this week is get uh, an example of pretty much every member of the North American mortise cylinder family from the uh, Mogul format, which very heavy, weighs a couple of pounds, I think, and uh, is a good two inches or so uh, in diameter to the uh, standard, very common uh, North American mortise cylinder, uh, which we've all seen and which uh, pretty much we've all picked at least something in this format. And then this guy, this little guy right here is very unusual. And this is the peanut cylinder. It is uh, in every respect, just a scaled-down mortise cylinder. Uh, it even has, let's see, right there, five uh, pin chambers. And literally all they did was scale everything down by about half. Uh, and you don't see these very often. These were uh, originally uh, introduced for... Uh, very early narrow style door hardware, uh, and they still see some use uh, on uh, display cabinets and uh, boats uh, and other places where you just need a really tiny cylinder. So here's the key for it, and you can see it works, and again, exactly like its uh, larger siblings. And, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's see if we can pick this thing. Uh, and this thing is really tiny, so uh, I am going to use the vise. Just because this thing is so small, and all of my attempts to uh, pick it in my hand just went disastrously. So let's see if I can do this without completely obscuring uh, the lock from you guys. So we're going to reach in here. Now, this is uh, my favorite uh, 18 thousandths Peterson short hook and just a standard twist handle uh, turning tool. Very light pressure. Now we're just going to reach in there. Uh, pin two, pin three. Pin four, and everything goes soft, so increase the tension a little bit. One is binding. Two. Four. Click at five. Click at two. Back on pin four and pin five. I think just gave us a click. sure I didn't overlift something, which is a very real possibility in a small block like this. Very easy to do. Oh, and very strong resistance on four. And very strong resistance on five. Let's 
I think we just overset two. Oh, and there we go. Got it open. So let's get this out of the way. stuck and we should have everything we need to uh, take this apart screwdriver tweezers very small follower uh, this is the same size follower that you can use for uh, an American lock padlock cylinder We do have the keys, so let that relock, which makes it a little bit easier uh, to deal with these very stiff screws. And the disassembly process is going to be exactly like uh, a normal full-size mortise cylinder, just everything's going to be tiny. So again, as usual, 90 degrees off from the chambers in the body, and push through. And let's see what we have in here. I'm not expecting anything fancy, but you never know. Uh, so, standard pin, standard pin, standard pin, standard pin, and standard pin. And let's see what it has up top. Standard driver pin and a very, very small spring. Standard pin and another very small spring. Standard pin, small spring. Pin, tiny spring, standard pin, and very small spring. And that's everything. A little bit of dirt and wear in there, but nothing particularly unusual. cylinder has a little bit of beveling on the uh, chamber mouth, but nothing too extreme. And let's get these pins lined up. there we have it. You know, this literally is just a mortise, uh, standard mortise cylinder scaled down a little bit. Uh, I, I think these are actually even uh, full size uh, 0.115 diameter uh, pins. So you could probably uh, rebuild, rekey this out of a standard pin kit, I think. Uh, and that's about all there is to say about this for now. Um, I guess uh, until next time, have fun and happy picking.